Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. Have you ever wondered what to pack in your backpack when you go out in the country here in Colorado? Well, I'm going to tell you, so stay tuned. For those of you that don't know, I do teach backpacking classes in the summer and you can get more information on my website at uh, spiritforestbear.com. Um, this video is going to be about what I put in the backpack and what I recommend to put in your backpack. This is for Colorado area. Um, yes, it can be used for some of the California areas and Idaho and so forth, but I am just going to talk more about the Colorado area. But when you go to my website, I do have a PDF that you guys can download um, to get all the information regarding um, backpacking and all the, the items that you would need for one of my classes. But it's also a really good guide for those of you that aren't taking my class but would like to go backpacking in Colorado. I just recommend print out the list, do a little check mark on some things. Uh, there are some things in my class that I do provide for my students, which would be a cooking stove and some um, cooking uh, dishes, so to speak. And so you wouldn't need to bring those. Um, in my class, but you would need to bring those if you're out in the back country. Okay, so I'm going to go over the items. I'm also going to shoot some pictures here and a little bit of video of the items that I bring. And now I've been backpacking for about um, a little over 20 years now. Probably like I think it's like 22 somewhere around there. So um, some of my gear is older gear, um, and some of it's newer gear. And um, I'm going to just kind of point out some things throughout this video of uh, what to do. Okay, the first thing on the list is a backpack. Uh, there's plenty of places to purchase backpacks. Um, I do have a video on backpacks and you can get to the um, video by clicking up here or I will link it below. I'm creating a whole playlist just on backpacking. So um, over the next month or so, um, you're gonna see a lot of videos coming out regarding backpacking. So if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe and uh, you'll be able to see the, the whole play playlist here shortly. First item on your list again is a backpack. Um, I purchased that backpack for my daughter at REI. There's plenty of other places to purchase it. What I do recommend is for you to actually go to a store, not just buy something on Amazon, um, because I think that you really need to try it on and, and fit it for yourself, um, and then and then purchase it and bring all your gear to the store and actually walk around the store with with the full backpack. So that is my number one thing for. Um, buying a number one thing on my list is uh, buying a backpack next thing is a sleeping pad um, there's a lot of the new sleeping pads are really nice they're they're kind of an air mattress type sleeping pad um, and you kind of blow it up and you know all about the thickness and stuff and you know the cost of it I'm not going to talk about the cost of every one of them but um, there are some really good ones out there also the the smaller ones that are just more foam are a lot um, less expensive and if you're not really into you can sleep anywhere it doesn't really matter about comfort and you know you could do one of those and, and save on cost as well next one on the list is a tent now you can do a tarp as well um, I do tents and the reason why is there's there are ticks here in Colorado um, and uh, most of the time I'm backpacking it's the summer months and I prefer that when I'm sleeping that um, I'm not sleeping amongst all the bugs climbing all over me at the same time so I like doing the tent um, as for a tarp you could do that in early spring late fall and you won't get all the, the bugs bothering you in the middle of the night okay I'm gonna go over some kitchen items now and uh, the first thing that you are gonna need is a water filter that is extremely important in, in the back country. I get asked so many times, why don't you just drink out of a stream? Um, you're up at a high country, so there's really no risk. Um, there is a risk. Don't let anyone tell you different. Um, always use um, a water filter when in the back country. Um, it's just safe. The last thing you want is when you're on a six day trek to, to get um, stomach pains and have to run to the bathroom all the time. So you don't want that. Make sure you get a really good water filter. Okay, the next thing I have on the list is a bottle or a bladder. Um, a lot of times I use a bladder when I'm backpacking so that way I have the tube and I can have water whenever I want rather than having to dig through my backpack. It's really your preference and what you want. Um, a lot of the newer backpacks too have some really nice side holds for the water. Um, my backpack does not. It's a little older so it's kind of lost its little elasticity so um, I use a water bladder for mine. Okay, now the obvious stuff regarding kitchen, you're going to need a stove and a, a burner as well and a pot to boil water on it. Um, 
I think it's really important to be able to have those three items every time that you go out. Even if, I mean, this is Colorado, and if you're not used to my channel, we have burn bans here constantly. So you're not able to burn in the wilderness areas. So you really need to be prepared for that. So make sure that you have your stove and your burner. And I'm going to do a whole different video um, just on the stove stuff. But just make sure that you have something to um, put water in and, and boil it. Next thing I have on the list is a canteen cup. Um, and the reason why I do a canteen cup, because just in case you can have a fire and in an emergency situation, a lot of times it's really nice to be able just to put your canteen cup over a fire and you can boil your water that way. Um, there are times where I don't bring my canteen cup, but if I'm only out for a couple days, but if I'm out for a long period of time, um, I do bring it just in case I need to um, purify water. And the thing that I always forget that my subscribers have noticed as well is um, a fork or a spork or a spoon. I constantly forget those items when I go backpacking and in fact I've gotten some wonderful uh, spoon carvings from some subscribers and I've gotten some um, nice utensils from subscribers so thank you guys for that because I do always forget a spoon and a fork and have to go out there and carve one so um, I put that on the list so don't forget that. Okay uh, this one I'm um, putting in a category of extras you're gonna need a headlight and with your headlight you're gonna need some extra batteries this has happened to me multiple times before where I've been in the backcountry I brought my headlight didn't bring any extra batteries and my battery went dead and then I had another four days out there it's really a pain to be able to um, to be out there without any light at night because you got to get everything done before the sun sets toiletries and I'll go over this probably in another video um, about a female backpacking and the stuff that we need um, to backpack being a female but but all the toilet cheese, which is like, um, I use baby wipes, um, uh, toilet paper, um, feminine products, you know, stuff like that that you would need. Um, also, you have, to, you have to toothbrush and toothpaste and, and deodorant, everything like that. Some people don't use deodorant in the outdoors, but, but I do. So it's everything that you think that you might need. Um, I list a couple stuff on my website, but really it's up to you what you think you might need. You need a, um, a sack to store your food. So what we do in our wilderness class is we hang our, our bags for the bears. So I need a sack to be able to stuff the food in and then um, put up in a tree. A space blanket is always a really nice thing. That's an emergency. It's usually part of my emergency kit is to have a space blanket just in case for some reason um, you might need it for some extra warmth. I recommend it to bring some paracord. Um, I say fit about 50 feet in my class because we're going to be doing some experiments out there but I would say on the given day or a given time going out in the backcountry I probably only bring about 20 feet of um, paracord and that is just to hang uh, my bear bag in a tree. Um, I do recommend a knife as actually it's one of my top items is a knife. Um, I like my more black knife but uh, there are some knives there that are um, less expensive than that but just make sure that when you choose a knife it's the correct one and I have gonna have plenty of videos on choosing the right knife for the outdoors. A compass yes you always need a compass um, that is uh, one of my essentials as well. The last thing you want to do is be lost in the wilderness. Um, a lot of rescues end up happening because people don't know where they are. So it's really nice to have a compass and know how to use it. Not just bring a compass, but use it. And along with a compass, you would have a map of the area. Always have a map of the area. I don't trust electronics. Um, I don't trust that I'm going to have power for electronics. So I always teach the fundamentals of a compass and a map to get you back to your car. A whistle bring a whistle it's always nice if you're if you're lost in the wilderness it's nice to be able to to whistle for help um, a lot of times here in Colorado there are people around um, so when you whistle they will hear you in most cases not every case another case would be as if there's a bear or a mountain lion and you use a whistle um, it's a very annoying noise and a lot of times they don't like it the next item on my list is a poncho I love my poncho I use it constantly it rains in Colorado probably every evening I would say probably about three to four o'clock um, the rain starts to come so you got to be prepared for rain um, it doesn't usually last very long it comes and goes within an hour or two there are times it stays all night so be prepared for rain um, my poncho covers my entire pack and um, I can also use it for shelter like a like a tarp as well um, some extras again that I have in my toiletries area would be lip balm um, I always bring sunglasses I bring um, 
sunblock as well. The Colorado sun is brutal, so be prepared for that. Um, so always bring sunblock. I keep a bandana with me, and the reason why I keep a bandana with me is because um, sometimes when it's really hot, it's nice to soak the bandana and put it around me. It's also nice to use that bandana to clean the dishes as well. Um, I use it for a lot of different things in the wilderness. A lot of times I'll bring a little notepad and, and pen because um, if it's raining and you want to pitch up tent and maybe it's three o'clock, you got nothing to do but sit in your tent. So it is kind of nice to be able to either write um, or to draw. That's what I do is I love to draw so I would sit in my tent and I would draw. Okay guys, I'm really sorry about the planes but I'm near an airport and they uh, changed direction so now they're all coming over me. So hopefully you can still hear me and the planes don't bother you as much. But I'm going to keep going on. Uh, the next item I have is what is in my fire kit. I have a fire rod. I have storm proof matches. I have a Bic lighter. Um, let's see what else. I have some cotton balls. Um, so I have a lot of things in my fire kit just in case uh, one item doesn't work I can always have another item. So don't just bring a lighter with you. Bring multiple ways to um, create a spark. My next item is my self-aid kit. In my self-aid kit I have six adhesive bandages. I have two three by three sterile gauze pads. I have one one inch Gorilla Tape. I have a three by six piece of moleskin, which I love moleskin. Um, definitely have that in your pack. I use that constantly because I get blisters. Um, three antiseptic wipes, two sting relief wipes, which I have used, and two, um, a small tweezer, because a lot of times you'll get a splinter or something and it's nice to be able to, to take that out. Two large safety pins, two small safety pins, and some pain reliever. Um, in the high country here in Colorado, um, you, I notice that a lot of people get headaches really easy. So it is really, I mean, some people don't use it, but I use um, ibuprofen when I'm out there um, in case I feel a headache coming on. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the clothes that I bring when I go backpacking. Um, I bring hiking pants, um, shorts, short sleeve shirt, long sleeve shirt, a fleece jacket, a gloves a shaded hat, hiking socks, hiking boots or hiking shoes and I'll do another video I'll do another video just on clothes but I'm just gonna go through this really fast and I'm gonna do a video on hiking shoes I had a subscriber of mine ask me about hiking shoes so I'll be going over a video on that um, I do fleece leggings, a beanie hat, and some underwear. Depending on the time of year, I'll bring a scarf or a neck warmer um, and some extra wool socks. As for food, I'm going to do an entire video just on food. Um, food can be really heavy and so I have some tricky ways to try to make your food bag lighter. Some alternatives that people could bring um, would be a pillow. I, I know it sounds really odd, but I just, I don't know, the older I get, the more I like pillows. Um, so I have purchased some backpacking pillows but um, I am thinking of using like a regular pillow maybe cutting it in half because that really can make your day when you get back to your camp. Next thing is binoculars, cameras, uh, backup battery charger and gaiters and GPS. I want to thank you guys for, for watching. Again, I'm doing a whole series on uh, backpacking videos, so hopefully you guys will enjoy them and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye. So if you go to, let me fix my hair. <laughs> Plane, go away. Wind, go away. Um, okay.